Hi, my name's Alex Wolford, and I wanted to show you a uh, couple of really common um, patterns for ingesting streaming data. And so in this example, I'm using an Intel Edison here. It has a temperature and a humidity sensor. And um, we are that this is actually writing the data to Kafka in Avro format. And Avro and Kafka are so uh, commonly used um, for streaming data. So I'll show you how it's doing that. I mean, um, so I have a little spring app. It has this little uh, cron annotation, run every 10 seconds. It's going to take a reading uh, from the sensor and um, basically just write that into Kafka. So in a nutshell, that's how, how this part of it is working. So um, NiFi is picking these message up, messages up from Kafka and um, then um, we're taking these, um, these are Avro encoded messages and so we need to um, deserialize them and, and convert them into uh, JSON. So let, let's have a look. We have an Avro schema here, and uh, this, this is basically the, the uh, well, it's the schema. So it says these are the fields that we expect. And so we're going to take this message and then convert it into JSON. And there's a really handy processor um, that is going to convert that JSON message into a SQL insert statement. Um, that we are then going to use to stick into MySQL. So let's have a quick look at this processor. Um, note the uh, connection pool, right? So, so this is going to um, keep um, a, uh, a connection open um, to MySQL and it's going to create um, insert statements and um, those insert statements are going to be sent to this um, put SQL um, processor and that is going to insert them into MySQL. So let's have a quick look. Here's our temperature humidity table. And if I scroll to the end, I guess you can't read this Unix time. This is like uh, milliseconds since 1970. But you can see, you know, here's Fahrenheit and here's humidity. So that, that, was, that was pretty easy um, to, to take Avro uh, formatted data without really writing any code and then um, in, insert that into a relational database. Um, I think there are better things for time series data, and um, so um, an example of that would be uh, OpenTSDB, the Open Time Series Database. It's, it's designed for um, in fast ingestion and, and time slicing of data. So um, one thing I noticed um, with OpenTSDB, well, first of all, you can create an Ambari service. So a colleague of mine, Ali Bajwa wrote this uh, Ambari service. Here is the, um, the uh, GitHub URL. I can put this in the comments um, if, if you want to run OpenTSDB on your uh, cluster. And uh, once we have OpenTSDB, uh, OpenTSDB has a REST interface for ingesting data. So you can see, look, right, right here, it's expecting a JSON payload that's in a slightly different format to the way the JSON is coming across. So uh, here, if I, if I just drag this tab over here, this is how the data is appearing to us. Um, it's a flat JSON, and this is what OpenTSDB expects. So it's expecting metric, time series, and value, and some tags. So we need to munge this data, this uh, JSON, and get it into this format. And uh, there's a really handy processor for, for that. This is using something called Jolt. Um, so here's, where's my, where's my uh, NiFi flow? Here it is. So look, I have a, a Jolt uh, transformation. It's gonna, it's gonna take this data and um, basically um, manipulate it into that format. So um, in this case, I'm, t I'm creating a value column um, using the Fahrenheit tag, um, and um, I'm doing the other the other way around uh, for for humidity. And the messages when they come out of this Jolt transformation, they're going to look like this. And once they look like this, they can be um, posted um, into um, OpenTSDB. So um, there are two transformations: one for humidity, one for Fahrenheit, and uh, then they are posting to this URL. Um, and that's about it really. So let's have a quick look and we can see the data in OpenTSDB here. Uh, oh, looks looks like, uh, what, 
what is this? Humidity's dropped, right? Let's let's uh, see. I don't know. Maybe it's yeah. You can see that uh, this is the humidity for about the past uh, fifty minutes um, on my desk. So uh, there's also temperature. If you wanted to see that, you just type in here Fahrenheit, and uh, yeah. So you can see. Look, it heated up a little bit. From after about at about just but just before two o'clock, I think the sun came out, and you can see the temperature climbed very slightly. Anyway, um, that those are some common ingest patterns um, using um, Apache MiFi, and I hope that was helpful. Um, thank you. Bye.